What's up, hooligans? So, today I will be doing a tiny little snippet vlog because Kenny's at work with my dad and my anxiety is really bad because I'm having a lot of pain and <sighs> trying not to freak out. My pots is really bad today and my anxiety is really bad, so I'm trying to like keep myself occupied for the couple hours that he's gone and I haven't showered yet or even changed so yes I'm wearing the same shirt that I was in my vlog yesterday but who cares um I am having a lot of lower pain in my body on my side and I don't think it's appendicitis because like I'm not having fevers or chills or vomiting or anything like that I think I don't know I might have just slept wrong but in my brain I'm gonna die so I'm just trying to Talk to my hooligans, get my mind off of it. That's why I made this channel. But today I'm going to tell you and show you all my tattoos. Whether you've noticed or not, I have a lot of tattoos, guys. So, I my first tattoo I ever got was the one on my ankle. And I'll insert them because I'm not about to like show you because I'll have to get like naked for some of them. Because, like, a lot of them I have in places. Well, I can show you some of them. But I got on my ankle, and I will insert it here. It is, uh, two tattoos in one, actually. I got the white and red heart first. As soon as I hit 18, I ran up to that <laughs> tattoo parlor, and I got my first tattoo. It's very small. It's very, very small. It's probably about this big now that it's done. And then, a couple years later... With my Mexican heritage, I was like, I want to get a green heart added so that it would be the Mexican flag colors and make it, like, a tribute to my mom's side of the family. So, I went back and the same guy who did my other tattoo was like, oh yeah, I'll throw it in there, don't worry about it. it I'll just put it in there for you for free. Which was really nice and I got it done at Dragonfly Tattoo in Parkland Inn by Mike Medlock. He's really good. I don't even know if he tattoos anymore. But then I got my second tattoo, which was probably not the best idea to do because it was really big for my second tattoo. And it's my lovebirds on my back. I got it done in Tennessee. I th and no. Well, I got it done when I went to Tennessee, but I don't know if it was done in Tennessee or somewhere else. <laughs> close to Tennessee because like I think he lived right over the border in some other state but anyway um yeah I got these lovebirds they're kissing lovebirds I got them specially for my niece Emma because she was being born at that time and I saw them and I was like oh my gosh because I knew right away we were going to be so super close oh god guys my side hurts and um so I got the kissing birds and that tattoo is dedicated for my Emma Dilemma and I will insert a picture of it in here somewhere you'll see them <laughs> and then my second tattoo I think was my skull on my ankle with a little pink hair bow but guys I found out at this exact tattoo that um your girl Lisa does not take color so pretty much well, yeah, all my tattoos except for my red and green heart, which is so weird, don't have any color in them. And so now that tattoo that I'm going to show you right now, pretty cute, huh? I know. But anyway, doesn't have that pink bow anymore, guys. This is what it looks like now. Oh, wait, hold on. Opposite angle. <laughs> This is what it looks like now. No pink at all. It all faded out. Still cute though. But anyway. So I got that one. My friend Josh is a tattoo artist. He um, did that for me at my house. And then. Well I got that one mainly just because I was like a little rebel back in the day. I was always into something. And I was like punk before emo and scene and all that lame stuff came about and then I got I 
can't remember. I got so many. Oh, and then I got this big mistake on my arm. You can't even see it. It's so horribly bled out. It's supposed to be a purple rain cloud. <laughs> but it bled out, obviously, because Prince's song, Purple Rain, is one of my all-time favorite songs. You guys, my hair look grody and gnarly. Sorry, I haven't even done anything today. I was just woke up, had it is a panic attack. <sighs> so anyway, yeah, that one is supposed to be a purple rain cloud because Prince's song Purple Rain is like one of my all-time favorite songs ever. And then I got Noah and O A H for my son Noah. Um I think I'm doing these in order. And then I got the one for my dad on my back. Let me tell you what, guys. My dad was super sick a lot when I was younger. Like, he had diverticulitis, and they didn't know it for a couple years. And he's got rheumatoid arthritis, so he's... <sighs> oh, hold on, my dog is being annoying. And so, like, he, um, he hurts a lot and stuff, and he always wanted a 55 Chevy pickup truck. So he got one and he ended up like starting to take it apart and everything to rebuild it how he wanted it rebuilt. And then he got sick and he had to get like pretty much completely gutted guys from his diverticulitis surgery. They took like a whole bunch of his organs and half of his organs out. So he was pretty much knew that he wasn't going to have the time or the energy or the money to rebuild his truck. So I said... I'm going to get a 55 Chevy truck on my back for my dad. <laughs> and I came to my friend Josh who did my also did my Noah tattoo and my ankle tattoo. And I said, yo, let's work this out. Um, I will pay you in payments or whatever, you know. And I told him how I wanted it to be for dad. Which he was like, he was technically my dad's friend, my mom and dad's friend. He wasn't really my friend. He just, well, he was friends with everybody. He's just a super cool guy. And he's like, you know what, don't worry about it. I'll do it for dad, you know. He's like, you don't have to pay me anything. And I'm like, what? So, I sat on my kitchen table in my mom's house for three plus hours doing this tattoo for my dad. It is my favorite tattoo on my entire body. And here it is. Super bomb, right guys? I love that tattoo. So, it's not completely done yet. I want to get Mama Tried, Daddy's Pride over it. Because, uh, like I said, my mom always tried to get me to be pink and frilly and girly. But I was always dirty and in the garage with my dad. So, <laughs> that's like my favorite tattoo ever, guys. It's so cool. And then, I think I got this one on my arm. It's a rose that my ex-boyfriend Kyle drew. Hold on. It's a rose that my ex-boyfriend Kyle drew for me in high school. And it says forever and ever, amen. It's a Randy Travis song. Um, because he's been in my family. Oh my gosh, what do you need? He's been in my family as a friend. He was my sister's friend. He's my dad's friend still currently. And he's always been a part of my life. Even though we dated, he's still kind of like a big brother to me. So, ew, that sounds weird, doesn't it? <laughs> but anyway, and so I got that tribute for him because regardless of what it is, he's like a fungus and he'll never go away. <laughs> and then I got my keys. You will see with all my tattoos. I have an obsession with locks and skeleton keys. Then I got this one. It's two skeleton keys and a lock. Um, I got that one because I like skeleton keys and a lock. That's for, that one doesn't really have much meaning. It's just for me because I always wear my heart on my sleeve and I'm like such a nice person and I can't ever stand seeing somebody struggling, you know, because I'm always like, this is my last bite of food, but if you're hungry here, you can have it. You know, like that's the type of person I am. Oh, guys, my stomach hurts. And then I got my sister's name over my heart it just says joy see if i can zoom in without getting like copyrighted 
see, it just says J-O-Y. The Y right here makes a heart. Her name is Joy. So I got that for Christmas and I surprised her with it. Because she will, she's always in my heart and I love my sissy all the time. And then I got, um, I got this one for my mom side of the family again it um it says viva la raza it's kind of like means long live the race long live like power to the people type of thing with a little man in a fedora with a big old beard or goatee thing because like i said my dad is um Amer blah, 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 blah. my dad is american and my mom is mexican and I'm super proud of both of my heritages, no matter what. I don't care who the president is, what the rules are, who you are. I love my mom and my mom's side of the family so freaking much. And so I got it on there because I want people to know that just because I am this pale and I look just like my daddy doesn't mean my mom's blood doesn't run through me. So that one means a lot to me too, even though I get a lot of questions about it and dirty looks which I don't care and then I got this one for my dog Tibbles but as you can see the there was a red T in cursive in here and it bled out but it's a puppy heart and it's a puppy paw print because he passed away and he was originally my dog, but he didn't like me that much for some reason. He took more to my mom, so she took him, and, well, we lived together, so. And so, I got that when he passed away. And then, I think, I got the two on my hips, which I will insert a picture here. That one, these ones I did by myself. I did these tattoos by myself. Um, pretty much just because I wanted to practice doing tattoos, and I did pretty much all of Kenny's tattoos, too, if you want to see a video about all of Kenny's tattoos, let us know down in the comments. Um, but, I did these ones by myself, just mainly because they were lock and key ones, and I wanted them so bad, and by this time, Josh moved away and everything, and we couldn't find him. So I was like, I want tattoos, so I'm just going to do them by myself. So I got those two tattoos done by myself, and I don't even know. I still have to get one for my son, Dakota. I want to get, there's my Blue Jay, you guys. That Blue Jay, I'm telling you, I have a whole nother story about that Blue Jay for you guys. Um, But yeah, those, I think that's it. Those are all my tattoos. But, like I said, I think my most memorable tattoo would have to be my truck for my dad. It definitely took the longest and had the most meaning for me. And, yeah. If you like this video, remember to like and subscribe. And while you're pushing buttons, guys, please turn on that bell so you never miss a video. And we will probably see you again next time. Hopefully you stick around and you continue to follow my vlog channel. And if you like my channel, guys, spread it out. Tell your friends about it. And yeah. So as always, remember to stay golden. Bye.